Oh, look at this view. Okay. Importing all preferences from home interface. Systems are now fully operational. And now at Big Nang Hills Funicular Train Station's ticket office. Look at the crowd. I'm trying to catch the first train, but holy moly. Everyone is fighting for the first train. What's the purpose? to catch Big Nang's sunrise of course I left my hotel at 6am and reached the ticket office by 6.15am I thought I would be one of the visitors to board the first train departing at 6.30am I was wrong but luckily I was able to board the second train departure Very windy up here. The time now is five minutes to seven. It is still not sunrise yet. I think sun will rise at around fifty minutes past seven. Habitat.
I'm now at Hin Bas Depot, also here. It's like a Sunday morning market, therefore it's only available on Sunday. Let's go and take a look. A lot of uh, hawkers here, stalls selling stuff, handicraft. No, no, what's this? Right. We are using sea bass. The sourness and uh, the spiciness, not enough. I like a uh, strong taste. This is a very strong taste. Um, if you want more spicy, we use the chili bunny. Oh, oh, okay. It's uh, 15 ringgit, is it? Yeah, 15. We are not using oh, uh, mackerel. Bass. We are not. Oh, yeah, usually they use uh, mackerel. Mackerel, yeah, mackerel got a lot of bones. All right, my Ping Nang Laksa. Look at the big piece of fish meat. Really, really generous. 15 ringgit a bowl. When I first tasted the broth at the store, it has failed my test. It is not spicy and not sour, but I still decided to support the old couple. The broth is, however, rich and the big pieces of sea bass is exceptional. Okay, next to this very popular Asli, sorry, Ali Nasi Lemak. A lot of people say this Nasi Lemak here is a must try. Come, let's get it. We have uh, sotong, ikan, ayam. I think I'll just buy uh, two flavors. Wantan mi. Hokkien Mi, oh, I want to try this Hokkien Mi. Just to share with you, Ping Nang Hokkien Mi is different from um, Hokkien Mi that you can find other places in Malaysia, uh, in Singapore. Uh, because Ping Nang Hokkien Mi comes in a big bowl of broth instead of uh, you know the Singapore style Hokkien Mi with a thin layer of uh, thick gravy. So let's see how it tastes like. My Ping Nang Hokkien Mi. We have a chili, we have a cream, slices of pork, egg, yellow noodle, rice noodle. I added pig uh, intestine, just a bit, and uh, some fried onion. The most important part, raw. That we try, yeah, raw first. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, thick, tangy, intestine, um, stream, mm. so, well, the thing of tanks, this dish, I'm going to give it a uh, eight. The weather is a bit hot. I decided to return to hotel, wash up, and then to enjoy my Ali Nasi Lemak. Okay, here are the uh, highly recommended Nasi Lemak in Penang. One of the best, Ali Nasi Lemak. So let's put their name to the test. So what I have here is um, the ayam flavor, chicken, and ikan bilis, uh, anchovies very small portion to, to uh, give you a reference point this is my bum and that is how small portion it is for three ringgit the sambal chili is really nice 
spicier than the standard, the usual nasi lemak. Not very spicy by my standard. Mm. Oh, chili not enough. See. Next, the chicken, ayam flavor. The sambal chili. The soul of nasi lemak. Mm. Very nice sambal chili. Small bit of chicken, not bad. Um, deep fried chicken. So my overall rating, over 10 for this nasi lemak, Ali's nasi lemak, I'm gonna give it a rating of 8.5. Special note, the uh, sambal chili here is uh, slightly spicier, not extremely spicy. It's just more spicy than the standard, usual type of nasi lemak they can find in other places is in Malaysia as well as Singapore. Highly recommended. Next, I'm going to the coastal area for seafood lunch, but not to the touristy Batu Feringi on the north. I'm going to far extreme southern end of Big Nang Island that most foreign tourists don't know. No, GS team here. Yep. You can just stop here. I'm now at the most extreme southern end of Big Nang Island called Jetak Sangu. Um, this is actually a very small fishing village. This place here, you can have a seafood lunch or dinner beside the sea and a restaurant here offers seafood freshly catch, fresh catch of the day. Look at the beach here. So let me do some filming and show you the beach here at Jetak Sangu. So I'll be having my lunch here at GS Steam Hot Pot Seafood and maybe I'll take a slow walk to the other one called Tua Pei Kong Restaurants. Walking I think another 100 meter, I should reach this restaurant called Tua Pei Kong Restaurant. Bear in mind guys, Ping Nang is very hot, it's very hot now. So uh, this walking trip is not for the weak, frail and fragile. Okay, I reached the other restaurant. This is the Tua Pei Kong restaurant. Also selling seafood. Wow, durian. <laughs> Smells nice. Now, walk back to GS Steam as I want to try their seafood in special hot pot. When I walk into the kitchen, you saw the look on my face, you saw the look on my heart to get out of this place. I sent something I've never seen before. When you put on the pineapple, we couldn't be friends anymore. Alright, this is my hot pot. I order some clam and there's a one lobster and menti shrimp. Oh, by the way, there's something underneath this uh, hot pot. I'm going to show you uh, after I finish the food on top. I'm going to show you what underneath. hot pot here is that uh, you pour your seafood on top to steam your seafood and of course all the the juice and the calories of the seafood will is now uh, below which is um, the porridge
This village offers seafood meal at very good value with excellent ambience, tranquility, very ideal for family or old friends gathering. You can loiter along the beach with beer or durian after the meal. Do know that it is best to drive or book a transport to come here. While looking for a place to chill, I bumped into beer promoters offering beer tasting. They volunteered to bring me to a place with good life span just a short walk away. It turned out to be one of the restaurants recommended on the internet. With that, I have come to the end of this Big Nang tour, and my verdict is this. Big Nang is the most fun state in the entire Malaysia. There are still areas that I couldn't cover in this trip, such as Batu Feringi, Durian Farms, Morning Markets, and many more bar hopping. If you are thinking of where to go in Malaysia, Big Nang has to be on top of your list. If you like this video by JC Production, please like and subscribe. Terima kasih kerana menonton sila like dan subscribe.